gentlemen, once more, Bob and Ray have come across with a great public service. Are you in politics? Well, do you hold an eminent public office? If so, you'll be very interested in their new venture, and here they are to tell you all about it, Bob and Ray. Attention, all politicians. Yes, attention, all senators, representatives, and governors. Senators, representatives, and governors, do you feel that your booking agent isn't getting you enough appearances on TV shows? Uh, statesman of America, when you see, say, Senator Forbush appearing on a commercial program, do you feel that you could do better if you were given the chance to strut your stuff? If that's the case, fellas, you'll be glad to hear what we are now opening. The Bob and Ray, we put politicians on TV agency. Caution, we handle only Democrats and Republicans. Politicians, why waste your time down there in Washington when you could be right here in New York appearing on crime programs or uh, being uh, dined at the store club, wearing grease paint all the time? How about that? Well, or friends, uh, if you're musical, why not inspire your constituents like this? And now, friends, a newcomer to the Persian room here. We give you Senator Calhoun, Georgia Brown an anti-reconstruction ukulele player from the fair state that made Peaches famous. I was born on a lovely morning in the sweet Georgia town. You can bet I'll never laugh. Sweet Georgia town. Voters, you can get appropriations, yes. Georgia claim me, Georgia name me, Senator Calhoun, Georgia Brown, for re-election as state senator, it might add here, and also put state finances in the black with Brown, tip a canoe in Brown, too. And, Congressman, don't feel blue just because your showbiz career has been thwarted by your not being on one of those committees uh, that gets awards on the Kate Smith program. Oh, that's right. Bless your hearts, no. <laughs> because even if you're on a tiny committee that only your wife knows about, we can put you on a TV show anyway. For instance... What do we do at the party four times? Trun them in the river. Okay, that's what we'll do. Trun them in the river. Yeah. Good evening. This is Senator Quincy Quidnock, minority member of the a Congressional Committee on Harbors and Rivers. Fellow citizens, there is too much pollution of our rivers. I am against throwing bodies in rivers. I thank you. And listen to this, politicians of America. Not only are we getting jobs for politicians on crime programs, but we guarantee we can solidly book you into amateur shows, talent scouts, or uh, other similar programs. For instance... <laughs> That was our fifth amateur of the evening, uh, playing My Mother's Eyes on a saucepan. His name, Representative Roger Whittacombe, and uh, he's come to our amateur hour all the way <coughs> from Swayback, <coughs> Illinois, uh, where he represents the <coughs> 4th Congressional District. Uh, <coughs> I wonder, Roger, if you'd <coughs> say a few words, please. My friends, you all know me. I come from a poor family. I went to work at the age of four selling Reader's Digests. At the age of seven, uh, I was a little stronger. I sold the Saturday Evening Post. Well, thank you very much. When I was 12 and husky, I sold the Encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah, I'll well, now sketch in my life from that period, from the time I graduated thank from Thank you high very much, Roger. Remember the telephone number, Superior 6, 3000. Now, look, there you have the story, politicians. Sign up with us, make us your agents, and we'll have you working on TV regularly. Yes, Republicans and Democrats, remember our slogan. Sign up today with Bob and Ray... And you will be on all TV. We have uh, big news tonight. We just handed to us before we went on the air. A new contract has been signed just uh, happy this about afternoon. It. And I'd like to congratulate you publicly because uh, it is the biggest feather in our caps to date. And as much as we are a new agency, that's right. Well, friends, we have got a new job for a famous piano player who's been working down there in Washington. Yes, sir. In one week, he opens here in New York at the Hotel Tab. Mm -hmm. 